Hi. This is Misa from Game Shorts, and today, we will talk about 7 things that got vaulted in Fortnite. Fortnite has had a long and illustrious career, one marked by critical and commercial acclaim. Every few months, a new season in the Battle Royale's giant formula unfolds like a tapestry, revealing a new level of pleasure and hilarity for all. With the latest season of Fortnite now live across the entire game, players may be wondering what weapons, gear, and consumables have been left behind. When something gets vaulted, it is taken from the game and can frequently stay there indefinitely. Here are 7 things that got vaulted in Fortnite. Number 1, The Minigun. The minigun was first presented as an epic and legendary weapon in Chapter 1. This massive weapon was excellent at destroying player-built structures and did not require reloading. It burns quickly and spreads in an unpredictably unpredictable manner. This, combined with the cooldown period, caused many gamers to abandon the weapon. Number 2, The All-Terrain Cart. In Fortnite Battle Royale, the All-Terrain Cart was the first drivable vehicle. After the popularity of the shopping cart's fun vehicle, it was debuted in Chapter 1 of Season 5. This vehicle could hold up to four people and preceded the need for gas that vehicles have in Fortnite presently. The other two seats were known for being on the roof, where they could emote and use their weapons. In Chapter 1, Season 8, the cart was vaulted, but in Chapter 2, Season 8, it was unvaulted by accident. Because of the vehicle's popularity, it was kept in the game for the remainder of the season and has yet to return. Number 3, Explosive Batarang. Chapter 1 debuted the Explosive Batarang, which was a mythic throwable item. It was only available in Gotham City in stacks of 5, and it replaced Tilted Towers as a poi. The Batarang only appeared in this season as part of a cooperation to promote the release of a Batman and Catwoman suit that could be purchased as a package for actual money. The Batarang behaved similarly to the Proximity Mine, attaching to surfaces and exploding for 50 damage if opponents approached within range. It wasn't a particularly distinctive weapon, and few people used it, but it was popular as a tease for a Batman skin. Number 4, The Inflatable. In Chapter 2 of Season 7, the Inflatable was introduced and then withdrawn. The bowl was a humorous item that took up a weapon slot and was a pun on the term inflatable. Players could use a durability gauge and a timer to activate distinctive back bling and bounce around in a cow ball. This was the first time players could ride an animal in the game. It was deactivated on the first day because of the potential for bugs, but it was restored after the patch. It was ideal for covering vast distances, eluding enemies, and rolling down hills. The inflatable can be used to offset fall damage over long distances. Number 5, The Infinity Blade. The Infinity Blade, a melee weapon first presented in Chapter 1 of Season 7, was dreaded by many. The Infinity Blade is a character from Epic Games' mobile game Infinity Blade, and he only appears in Fortnite for a limited time. This sword is encased in stone, and whomever wields it wields divine power. In the core Battle Royale playlists, this weapon lasted all but three days. There was a lot of pushbacks against this weapon since many people thought it was too powerful. The mythic weapon can only be held by the player, but it is well worth the wait because it damaged really bad and healed the player. Number 6, Combat Shotgun. In Fortnite, this shotgun was a complete game changer. The weapon, which was released as a nod to John Wick, Chapter 3, quickly altered the meta for a long time. The combat shotgun rendered all previous shotguns obsolete. The DPS, range, and magazine capacity of this gun were all superior than most shotguns, and it almost operated like a rifle in terms of the tremendous kick of damage it could provide. It was last vaulted in Chapter 3, Season 1, however in Chapter 3, Season 2, its damage was boosted for creative mode, indicating that a comeback could be on the way. Number 7, Crafted Bows. With the release of Chapter 2, Season 6, things on Fortnite went a little crazy. There was a lot of animals on the map, and certain weapons were named after the new season's name, Primal. The new reality tree would look great with these bows. The use of bows, a weapon that was easy to find and could be modified into several sorts of bows based on what items the player had, was what made the map primitive. This weapon was only available in Chapter 2 of Season 6, and it was vaulted at the end of the season, with no indication that these sets of bows would return. 
The weapon was super quick on the draw, but using it against automated guns was never really a good idea. This were 7 things that got vaulted in Fortnite over the years. Which items do you like to see come back? Please leave a comment and subscribe for more awesome Fortnite and gaming news.